Well, I told you guys that Tiffany Henyard was in trouble because you had the feds investigating her, Lori Lightfoot investigating her, uh, WGN News investigating her, Fox 5 investigating her. Now you have, um, and you also have uh, Regina Waldrop of NBC5 Chicago. Uh, now, of all the things that's going on in Chicago, all the murder and the, um, not just the crime, but just in the third city, the third largest city in America, there's a lot of stories to be told. The immigration situation. It's just uh, so much stuff going on in Chicago that Regina Waldrop could be talking about anything as a reporter for uh, NBC5. But she's been stationed down there in Dalton to the point where she says she would like to move to Dalton because every day that there's a juicy story to talk about. So now she's been also doing a thorough investigation. So she has the feds. She has Fox 5. She has WGN News. She has NBC 5. All these people are soliciting information and they're doing thorough investigation and background checks on Tiffany Henyard and the actions that she's uh, uh, making. Tiffany is in a lot of trouble, man. A lot of trouble. So now uh, she took the NBC 5 yesterday to report some of her findings on, on the investigation and just going through the city and interviewing people and talking to people. Let's look at what Regina Waldrop had to say. I told you, the story has so many twists and turns. Sometimes I am so overwhelmed and just everything is going on. You know, I told my husband the other day, I, I said, I want to move to Dalton. I want to move there so I can be right there because literally there is a story every day happening in this community and I don't want to miss anything. Since our last video, so much has happened. We're talking more lawsuits, a grand jury, the subpoenas, the mayor's former assistant speaking out. Where do we begin? Let's start first with this federal grand jury and the subpoenas, which we have copies of thanks to someone very close to this investigation. So let's unpack these subpoenas. There's a lot in the subpoenas. So we know that a grand jury has been seated since November. Now, May 20th and May 13th, that's when Dalton's custodian of records was to appear before this special grand jury and bring with them a whole slew of documents for Mayor Tiffany Hinyard, Village Administrator Keith Freeman, and also Trustee Andrew Holmes, as well as several other companies and individuals. Now we're talking about financial reports, budgets, accounting records, receipts, also requested reimbursement documents, loans, work schedules, travel records paid for by the municipality, including documents for that infamous trip to Las Vegas, where the mayor's ex-assistant says she was assaulted. Also requested are the mayor's records for her charitable organizations. And these records, again, were to be presented to the grand jury May 20th, May 13th. Now for that May 13th subpoena, the village custodian of records requests to bring personnel and disciplinary files for almost 30 people, as well as documents related to companies village administrator Keith Freeman is involved with. Now in April, Keith Freeman was indicted for bankruptcy fraud. The village and the mayor have not responded to our request for comments, but we were in court when Keith Freeman made his first appearance with his attorney now, Freeman didn't speak to any reporters who were there, but his attorney did. And he said Freeman is not stepping down from his position in the village or his position in Thornton Township. So when we talk about grand jury proceedings, what happens during the grand jury? We don't know because those proceedings are secret. So we don't know right now if the custodian of records brought all those documents as they were supposed to. But a source familiar with this matter tells me that the village has asked for an extension. So let's talk about Fania Dukes. She is the mayor's former assistant, and she claims that on a taxpayer-funded trip to Las Vegas one year ago in May, she was assaulted by trustee Andrew Holmes. Now, Fania issued a video statement where she says she is a survivor. She talks about what allegedly happened before and after that trip to Vegas. She's also filed a civil lawsuit against Mayor Henyard and Trustee Holmes, accusing Holmes of assault and accusing Tiffany Henyard 
of retaliation. Now, according to the suit, after dinner, she walked the Las Vegas Strip with Trusty Holmes. She says she felt disoriented and ultimately blacked out. Now, she says in her words, again, in the lawsuit, the last memory she has is waking up in his hotel room. According to the law, Sufania says she was fired shortly after bringing the accusation against Holmes to Mayor Henyard. So in the May 6 village board meeting, well, guess who shows up there? There's a large crowd of people waiting to get into this village board meeting. It starts late, but Fania shows up outside. She speaks to the crowd. And she uh, says, you know, thank you for supporting me. And she also talked about the foundation that she has started to help support women like her. So we have sent Trustee Andrew Holmes repeated requests. I have sent him personal requests via text, phone call, emails for any type of uh, statement or response to this. Now, he does read the text messages. I get the receipts showing that they have been read, but he has not offered any official statement or spoken to me about these allegations. So as you can see, she's going in on Andrew Holmes and <laughs> all of the corruption, but she wasn't finished. So she got, she started, she and she's interviewed people who said that they, they were, um, Tiffany Hay is running a shakedown orga, uh, uh, organization on business owners there. If you ain't rocking with her, you up out of there. So this ain't just us. This is the news. The Chicago news is on the ground interviewing the people themselves and they're doing an investigation. So they, she's investigated, uh, uh, like I said, they on Andrew Holmes' bumper. She's on a whole bunch of people, but let's look at um, the second half of what she's uh, uncovered. Check this out. So, of course, Andrew Holmes is a well-known community activist. Crime scenes, he is there, helping grieving families when they need someone the most. When there's been a shooting, a crime, an incident, he's always there. The face, the name, people, a lot of Chicagoans, they know who this man is. The nonprofit he worked for, Chicago Survivors told me in April in a statement that amid a lawsuit and allegations that Andrew Holmes assaulted a former co-worker, he was fired from this organization in April. So what does the village say about this Vegas trip? In a statement to NBC5, the village tells us that it conducted a thorough investigation into the allegations led by an independent third-party company. It goes on to say Officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing nothing about the allegations. It says Miss Dukes refused to cooperate with the investigation, and this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees. Now, neither Fania or Officer Byron Miles has addressed what the village is saying, but Officer Byron Miles was on that trip. He's also filed a civil lawsuit against Mayor Henyard. He says that he was part of a security detail, and after speaking out about what allegedly happened in Vegas, he was taken off of her detail. But the trustees, the village trustees of Dalton, they say there was never any third party investigation, which is partly why they hired former Chicago mayor, Lori Lightfoot to lead an investigation. Every month, Dalton holds two village board meetings on the first and the third Monday. Every month, this always happens. Tiffany Henyard has missed 20 Five, two five of those meetings. Where did I get this information? From trustee Jason House. So Dalton trustees have named Jason House as a mayor pro tem to fill in for Tiffany Henyard in the event she's absent from a meeting or otherwise unable to fill her duties. So again, remember, the trustees also voted to hire former Chicago mayor Lori Lightfoot to investigate Henyard and the village's spending. But Henyard, you know, it's veto power. So how dare you think you could come in someone's town? And Tiffany Henyard recently vetoed that hire, saying the village is not going to pay Lightfoot her $400 an hour. But so far, there's been no response from Lori Lightfoot about this. She has said it's going to take 60 days to complete her investigation. So now to the lawsuits. There's so many lawsuits. It's hard to keep track. There's so many of them. Some of the recent ones include uh, one filed in federal court by Tyrone Isom Jr. So I talked to Tyrone and he said he was really looking forward to starting his own business in Dalton. He said he wanted to help young people and that's why he was doing this. He wanted to open up a barber shop and a tattoo shop. 
He bought a building for $85,000. He took all the money he had out of his savings to do this, to buy this building. It was going to be his dream. He says he remodeled it, did everything he was supposed to do. He claims his applications for a business license were denied with no explanation. He says at one point he was told flat out, the mayor wants this property. So he says he was forced to sell the property, never being able to open up his business. The village has declined to comment on a lawsuit. A police officer, also the latest public employee to file a lawsuit against the village of Dalton and Mayor Henyard. Jeffrey DeVries accuses Henyard of illegally promoting other officers when they didn't pass the tests and they weren't approved by the village. The lawsuit also accuses the mayor and police brass for tallying against him for reporting this and other alleged misconduct by fellow officers to the State Police Standards Oversight Board. So just two of the many uh, lawsuits that have been filed against the mayor and the village. And finally, the law firm that represents uh, Dalton in at least 19 lawsuits in Cook County and federal court has withdrawn from the cases due to not being paid. So a village official provided us with a letter that was dated April 24th, and the law firm sent this to the village, and it says, without being paid, we're going to step down from these cases. And that is what's happened. The next few months, I think they're going to be very interesting and very busy. And you know what? I'm going to be right here, trying my best to cover all of this and get it to you. That's my promise. So... As, as you can see, because I could easily, you know, I have a whole bunch of other videos in the clip because I told you guys that I'm going to be doing the thorough background checks as to how she got here. So I'm going back as far as eight, nine years, um, you know, just covering her police record, um, her as a trustee, the, the mayor, who uh, Zuccarelli. I'm looking at all of the relationships that she forged that put her in position to get as the supervisor of Thornton. How she became the mayor because th that Thornton Township situation is very corrupt. I don't trust none of them. I don't trust Stephanie Wiederman. I don't trust Gonzalez. I don't trust none of that whole process to how as to how she got there is shady as hell, real shaky and shady. So, um, but I wanted to highlight this because this woman actually works for the news, so she has the ability to go down on the ground and actually talk to the people and. As she said, trustee house and them, they're giving her the information. So she's reporting all of this stuff. They're soliciting uh, to uh, different places to get the information to report it on the news. So I actually wanted to show Regina Waldrop. But it's, um, I got more in the clip. I got more coming. Stay tuned because more is coming. But if you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. And remember, um, I, um, I love y'all to the next time. Peace.